Welcome to Hitman Box, and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Last time we saw Timothy Bradley, he was doing backflips in the ring. He was getting his ass whooped by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao versus Bradley, part three, that is. Manny Pacquiao dominated that fight. In fact, Timothy Bradley won their first fight, right? Second fight, Pacquiao won. Third fight, Pacquiao won again, right? Isn't that how shit went? You know, as far as I'm concerned, Timothy Bradley lost all three of those fucking fights. I don't care what you say. It doesn't matter. But really, his only loss is to Manny Pacquiao. In fact, yeah, that, his only loss is to Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, he's got a hell of a resume, man. He's got some good guys on his resume. But the issue that I have with Timothy Bradley is, is that he's fucking full of shit. You know, I just heard an interview with Timothy Bradley, and he's talking about, he's basically saying, hey, what's next for Timothy Bradley? Who does he want to fight next? What does he feel about the welterweight division and shit like that, right? But before we get into that, we got to rewind a little bit, right? Because, I don't know, maybe three, five months ago, they were talking to Timothy Bradley. They asked him if he was going to fight, if he had any interest in fighting Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, yada, yada, yada. Pretty much PBC fighters. And this motherfucker said no. He said he wasn't looking to unify any of the belts because of the sanctioning fees. Now, that sounds like some bitch shit to me. So, I just rolled with it. Like, Timothy Bradley's a bitch. Like, all this motherfucker does is coach fo fucking Pee Wee football now, right? That's all he does. He don't box. I think he's a manager or some shit, but, you know, he ain't got no no-name. He got some, a bunch of no-name fucking fighters under his belt, probably. So, I'm a little upset with Timothy Bradley, man, for making those statements. He wants to do what's best for boxing. and what's, Well, no, not even what's best for boxing, but... What's best for Timothy Bradley? And you know what? I can't get mad at that, though, can I, right? Because, I mean, you know, he's, what, 30, 33, some shit like that. He's been through some wars, man. Provinacal beat the fuck out of him. Manny Pacquiao beat the fuck out of him. Provinacal really beat his ass, though. I don't know how the fuck he lost that fight, but, you know, Bradley squeaked away in that fucking fight. First, it was that first, second round, he was getting his ass. He, was, he looked like he was about to fucking die, okay? That's what Timothy Bradley looked like with his big-ass fucking swole head, man. I don't know how the fuck you squeak past Provodnikov, but whatever, you beat him. Well, you beat Lamont Peterson too, right? Didn't he beat Lamont Peterson? Did he fucking fight? I, mean, I don't fucking know, man. And nobody was checking for fucking Tim Bradley. Until after he beat Manny Pacquiao. Nobody gave a fuck about Timothy Bradley. Because after that first fucking fight against Pacquiao, everyone called it a robbery. That's when motherfuckers started to know who he was. I remember that fucking fight. I was like, who the fuck is Timothy Bradley, man? I ain't watched boxing like that back then. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't watched that shit back then. I'm, like, not, not that intently, you know what I mean? Obviously, I knew who the fuck Pacquiao was. But I seen Timothy Bradley. I'm like, undefeated. Who the fuck is this fake Floyd Mayweather-looking motherfucker, man? Swole, biscuit-head-ass motherfucker. But anyway... I ain't going to talk too much shit, but as far as what's next for Timothy Bradley, he mentioned names such as Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Miguel Cotto, Juan Manuel Marquez. Wait a second, you already fucking fought Marquez, man. What the fuck? He mentioned Pacquiao, too. We're not, we not trying to see a Manny Pacquiao versus Timothy Bradley part fucking four, okay? They pretty much... I asked him about the PBC stable of guys. And now, all of a sudden, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, those guys are good. You know, I'm do what's best for my career, you know. When you fucking pricing yourself out of fucking fights, you mentioned Sean Porter. And if I'm not mistaken, his father said you priced your fucking self out that fight. You're not going to fight Keith Thurman either. Keith Thurman beat the fuck out of you. In fact, I don't have no confidence in Timothy Bradley. He's overrated. He's fucking overrated. All right? Let's see him beat. Let's see him beat somebody. Yeah, let's see him beat Keith Thurman or fucking Errol Spence. You know you don't want to fucking fight Errol Spence. You fucking midget. He beat the fuck out of you. Worse than Provodnikov did. So don't give me this shit about you wanting to fight Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Sean Porter. Don't give me that bullshit when you said three to five months ago that you didn't want to fight any of those guys and that you didn't care that you were happy on top with top rank. But now that the Cold War is seemingly over with. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it's really not over with, but, you know, as far as Timothy Bradley fighting one of these top B PBC fighters, that shit ain't gonna happen. 
Timothy Bradley's full of shit. His wife's full of shit, too. You know, you dropped your trainer, Joel Diaz, then you got your ass whooped picking up picking up a new trainer and shit. How'd you getting fucked up by Manny Pacquiao? Wasn't doing shit in there. I knew Pacquiao was going to beat your ass that third fight, too, man. I knew it. He's a better fighter than you. So, what's best for Timothy Bradley to fight Miguel Cotto? Why? Well, you know, you want to move up and wait to fight Miguel Cotto? That's cool. I'll watch Miguel Cotto beat the fuck out your ass, too. Hit you with that left hook. Your ass won't wake up. So, you fight Keith Thurman? Nope. You've already taken too much punishment, Timothy Bradley. Keith Thurman beat the fuck out your ass, too. Too fast. Too much power. Nah. Timothy Bradley's like... He got no fucking power. He's basic as fuck. He's a basic bitch. Timothy Bradley's a basic ass bitch, man. But you know what? Maybe I shouldn't go too hard on Timothy Bradley, man. He got a great... He has a great fucking resume, man. But as far as I'm concerned, what the fuck have you done lately besides get your ass beat by Manny Pacquiao and then go into hiding, coaching peewee football and shit? Putting your wife on it. You know, I ain't going to get on your wife. That's fucked up, right? Even Hitman don't want to do that, all right? But back to the boxing shit, man. Miguel Cotto, he probably beat your ass. Errol Spence definitely beat your ass. <sighs> Not many options here, Tim. Um, Keith Thurman, yeah, he beat your ass. Uh, Sean Porter, you know, that'd be an interesting fight, but he'd probably beat your ass. You know, who the fuck is Timothy Bradley beat right now? Running around fucking scared with that big-ass fucking hat you be wearing. That shit probably a fucking 10 or some shit. Timothy Bradley, you know, these motherfuckers piss me off, man. Never get to see the fucking fights we want to see. Oh, but what about, what about Kel Brook and Earl Spence? What about Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia? Yeah, those were good fights, but they were... How long did it take for us to get those fucking fights, man? It took fucking forever for that shit. Like I said, man, Timothy Bradley is not about to fight anybody on PBC. His next fight back is going to be, you know, it's going to have a number two or three or four after the names on a marquee. I'm sure he'd love to fight Pacquiao for a fourth time. He mentioned Marquez. This motherfucker don't even got a fucking knee. You want to fight Juan Manuel Marquez? He's like 43 years old and shit. You already beat him. Why do you want to fight him again? The only shit that makes sense really is Miguel Cotto, but you're undersized, bro. You're not about to beat Miguel Cotto. That's just, that's the truth. You're not even a big enough name, though. And, I, and you're probably pricing yourself out of most of these fucking fights with these PBC fighters. Timothy Bradley ain't no draw. He ain't no big name. He's a big name, but he's not no fucking draw. Fucking Adrian Broner is a bigger draw to him. Shit, what, what the fuck can Timothy Bradley... Who the fuck can Timothy... Realistically, who the fuck can Timothy Bradley fight? Jesse Vargas, Amir Mom. Who the fuck can he fight? I don't know, man. Timothy Bradley needs to just go ahead and fucking retire, man. Because ain't nobody really checking for Timothy Bradley like that. I know I haven't been checking for him. You know what? I, I, I take that shit back. I was... I was curious as to what was going on with his career, man, because he'd been out the ring for so long. And, you know, he was talking all that shit, trying to make it seem like he was a rejuvenated fighter with a new trainer, still getting his ass whooped. I don't give a fuck who he stopped. I don't give a fuck who he stopped before Pacquiao. It don't matter. Bradley's not going to fight any of these guys. He's not going to fight Thurman, Porter, Danny Garcia, Errol Spence. I made a fucking video. Timothy Bradley wouldn't fight Errol Spence if Jesus ordered the fight. Timothy Bradley's not going to fight Keith Thurman. He's been, talk he been talking shit about Keith Thurman. He's been talking shit about all them PBC fighters, man. He got a big fucking mouth, man. And he only fight top rank fighters. He's going to fight a bum when he comes back to the ring. He, need he needs a good win anyway. Before he goes in and, and tries to negotiate with one of these big name fighters, even though he's gonna be wasting motherfuckers' time. Cause no he This should be pissing me off, man. I used to have a lot of respect for Timothy Bradley, man. Then he started Then he started to open his fucking mouth, man, and talk all this shit. Oh, I don't I don't want to unify the division. 
You know, I don't want to unify the division. I don't want more than one belt anyway because of the sanctioning fees. Man, shut your bum ass up. All that fucking money you made off that pack. Man, you got money, motherfucker. Don't want to pay no sanctioning fees. And now you say you want to, oh, yeah, best fighters in the division should be fighting each other. What the fuck you been doing the last year, year and a quarter? Sitting your dumb ass at home. It's your lame ass. You a lame ass motherfucker. They probably used to beat your ass in, in middle school, high school. They used to beat your ass. Motherfuckers didn't give a fuck that you know how to box. Throw motherfucking TVs at your big head ass. Fuck out of here. Oh, fuck Timothy Bradley, man. I'm done talking about this motherfucker. Fire Earl Spencer, he can beat your ass. Fight any one of the motherfucking top Walter Waits. So we don't got to hear shit else about Timothy Bradley. And that's all I got to fucking say about that. Let me know what y'all think about this, this motherfucker, man. Lying his ass off on, on video, on tape. First he, say he, first he says he wants to, he doesn't want to fight any of those guys. And that he doesn't want to have more than one belt. Trust me, because you're not getting another belt ever again. You won't, you'll won't. you never hold another title at 147. That's for damn sure. And two, now you say you want to you wanna fight these guys. Full of shit. He's full of shit. He's, he's fucking full of shit. So if you like Timothy Bradley, if you got respect for that guy, start thinking about that shit. Go to Fight Hype. And listen to that interview. And then go back again. I think it was Dante's Box Nation or some shit like that where he was talking about, oh, he don't want to fight none of these top welterweights because he's a bitch. Hitman Boxing, I'm out.